This is Math Journal, page 139, 139. So for this page, it says, for the data set, fill in the missing values and write data as ordered pairs. Plot the points on the grid next on the next screen and connect them using the e-line tool. We're just, you're just, you'll end up copying them just in the book, okay? So it says, Dean is raising money for a charity. He runs $2, he earns $2 for each lap he runs around the gym. So for that one, so if he runs one uh, lap, he gets $2. If he runs two laps, he would get $4. If he ran three laps, he would get $6. And if he ran four laps, he would get $8. Okay, now they want them as ordered pairs. So we would have one, two... Two, four, three, six, and four, eight. So those are the ordered pairs for this is number one on uh, that page. Then we'll, the next thing we're going to do is graph these. We'll graph these on the next screen. So we'll move that over. So we'll pan it up a little bit. Uh, let's see, I might... Um, so the first one says it was one lap, so we go one over and $2 earned. So one, two is right about there. The next one was two laps and $4. Two laps and $4. Then we had three laps and $6. So that's three over, six up. And then four and eight. So four over and eight up. Four over eight up. And then we'll we'll answer the questions right here. It says if Dean has earned fourteen dollars, how many laps has he, has he run? Okay, I, I think they wanted us to uh, make a line with this first. So we'll we'll make a quick little line. Some of these are going to be super hard to do because you can you can see 14 on yours. I cannot see 14 on mine. So if you cut across from 14 and then come down to see where it intersects, that would be your answer for that one. And that answer would be for number 1A is seven laps, seven laps. And it says put an X on the, on the point on the grid to show your answer to part A. So you would put an X right where those two things cross. Again, it's up above where I am right now, so I can't can't do that on mine, but you just put a cross there. What are the coordinates for that point? So that point would be seven, seven over and 14 up. Seven over, 14 up. So that's your answer for part C, 1C. Okay, now we'll go on to number two. Okay, we'll skip that part. We kind of already did that. So part two, it says Sally uses two paint jar paint brushes for each jar. So we'll have to fill in the ordered pairs for that one. So for the ordered pair, so this is the number two on 139. Two brushes is one jar. Four brushes would be two jars. So just following the pattern, six brushes for three, three jars and eight brushes for four jars. So our ordered pairs would be two, one, four, two, six, three, and eight, four. Those are your ordered pairs for that one. Those are your ordered pairs. Okay, so get those copied down for the first part of number two. We'll move on to graphing them. So as we graph these, okay, so the first one said two brushes and one paint jar. So it's two over and one up, which is right about there. The next one was four over, so four paint brushes. Uh, and two jar or two jars, so it's four over and two up. Then you had six over and three up. Then you had eight over and four up. Eight over and four up. So it looks something like that. 
then they want us to graph what it would look like roughly. And you should use a straight edge or another edge of piece of a paper. I'm going to try to do it uh, here, but we'll see kind of how that turns out. Something like that. Um, we'll kind of see how that looks like. It says if Sally uses six jars, how many paint brushes does she need? Okay, so you start at six. Um, if she uses six jars of paint, so you go at six and you cut straight across and then you come down and it'll tell you how many uh, brushes she needs. So your answer to 2A is 12. 2A is 12. For the next one, it says put an X on the point uh, on the grid that shows you the answer. So our answer would be shown right here. So this is where you'd put your X. Okay? And it says, what coordinates did we mark? So they want the coordinates that I just covered up. What are the coordinates there? So it is, for C, it would be 12 over and 6 up. So your coordinates are 12, 6 for part C because it's 12 over and 6 up. Okay, so that's the end of page 139.